Look at that. I'm getting fucking better. Come on! Look at that. That's perfect. No one can complain about that. Please don't. What's going on guys? George here. I uh, hope you're amazingly well. I've just woken up and it is about half past eight right now. It's a Saturday the 4th, I think. I can't remember the date. But um, Saturday, so what I've got planned for today is going to work out. I'm going to take you for a full day of eating and I have a uh, cheat meal. Um, and because it's Saturday, I always have a cheat meal on Saturday, just like, you know, enjoying myself. Just one cheat meal a week, just to like, not get too like, crazy about the diets and all like that, and just enjoy myself a little bit. So I um, look forward to showing you that. But for right now, meal number one, uh, we've got three pretty solid thick pancakes that I'll be eating. Um, I've got my Barocca, and I have a, a multivitamin, and I have a cod liver oil to take. Uh, I'm going to drink all this, make sure I drink this before midday, so that's one, one and a half litres. And if you can tell, I've got a, kind of a uh, sticky, throaty, cold kind of thing. I've got a shitload of snot everywhere, and um, yeah, so if you've got like colds, it's that time of year, make sure you be getting your vitamin Z's in, stuff like that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Make sure you get me on Snapchat, George Osmond 12, Instagram, George Osmond 12. I put it all here. I post my meals, uh, workouts, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, add me on that. And can you make sure you like the video, we get like 50 likes or something, 60 likes, 70 likes. Um, I know I'm doing something right. So, uh, and I also got a little, a little bit of hate for the last video. I got seven dislikes for some reason, not quite sure why. If anyone can explain to me why. Um, I'd appreciate it, so uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Ooh, bit of toothpaste. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Uh, oh yeah, I was placing my bets today, and uh, let me know, what, uh, football fans, who do you support? Tell me who you support, as you already probably know I'm a Chelsea fan, and it's Saturday today, so got to do some bets. Uh, Chelsea are playing uh, half 12 against um, Arsenal, so I'll show you what I did quickly. I have done, if you can see that, Chelsea to beat Arsenal, Doncaster to beat Morecambe, Everton to beat Bournemouth, and Bristol City to beat Rotherham. Not sure about the bottom one, but I put a fiver on, and I get 34 quid back. So hopefully, it's a good fucking day. Let me know in the comment section who you guys support. So it seems like every video I do, I'm always ended up in uh, Audi at some point. But um, I had to stock up on a few stuff because uh, because um, I run out of stuff much quicker than what I do with other stuff, basically. And I ran out of rice yesterday. I went Audi yesterday and I forgot rice, the most important thing probably in my diet right now. But um, I've got some pesto sauce. To uh, I've been using ketchup in my pasta lately and it tastes fucking disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, well, it tastes okay, but I'd rather pesto sauce. Uh, Uncle Ben's long grain rice. Always have the Uncle Ben's rice. I've got five packets there. Uh, got some um, pasta because I've been running on pasta, and I thought I might as well top up uh, whilst I'm there. And I also found these. Now, when I uh, look around a bit more in Aldi, like if you look around the um, like outdoor camping stuff, they sell a lot more like. Not Aldi's own brands, but they sell like more Uncle Ben's, different kind of brands around, like the clothing sections and stuff like that. So make sure you have a look. But um, what I found with these, sugar-free, these biscuits. So for any of my people who are um, dieting, who um, obviously can't have a lot of carb intake or sugar intake, give these a go. Uh, per biscuit is 1.2 grams of fat, 4.5 grams of carbs, and 0.5 grams of sugar with that. So, was that for Iber? I can't fucking tell, I can't even read sugar. Yeah, 0 0.5, sorry, I read that wrong. But, um, yeah, I found these, and I'm gonna give them a go. I'll probably give you a taste test while I'm at it. But, um, that's what I got from Audi. Okay, guys, so I didn't actually realize they're gonna be this uh, small. So there's 4.5 grams of carbs in this tiny little biscuit here, which, to be honest, I can have about 10 of these. So, I'm gonna give a taste test, in my opinion. Not bad actually, not bad. Um, definitely give these a go. 
If you want a snack, not bad, I like it. Yeah. Okay guys, so meal number two looks like this. We've got turkey mince in there, uh, 155 grams of it. And we've got 250 grams of long grain uh, Uncle Ben's rice with ketchup obviously in it. Now normally I have broccoli, but um, I go in the supermarket and there's no fucking broccoli. There's not even any frozen broccoli. So I decided to Google it and basically uh, broccoli is like grown in Spain and the weather out in Spain has been terrible lately so they haven't been able to grow it properly uh, so that's why there's no um, broccoli in the supermarkets but let me know if anyone's experienced that I would normally have broccoli with it but um, there's no broccoli but instead I'm going to have um, a oh shit a crunchy granola bar oats and honey one of those I'll put the macros all on the screen for this now and that's meal number two guys Okay guys, so hopefully you can see me, the lighting's pretty shit in here, but my pre-workout I have uh, a standard just chicken and rice, don't want nothing too heavy to sit in my stomach because I'm going to train in about 45 minutes to an hour's time, so I want something that's kind of light on my stomach, not too heavy and can kind of give me some quick simple carbs, now obviously bananas are good, uh, oats are great, all this kind of simple sugars are great but um, for this I'm just going to go with chicken and uh, rice and standard bodybuilding stuff and I'm watching the uh, Chelsea game the second half it's currently 2-0 Chelsea uh, don't just get, I don't really see them losing it right now um, so happy days I'm going to be a happy boy going to the gym and uh, yeah I've got a bit of back today so I'm going to go through a few exercises with you and back just explain them if anyone gives a fuck but um, yeah pre-workout like, like Jay Cutler always said your most important meals of the day are your breakfast, your pre-workout food, and your post-workout food. If you're not getting those three important things in correctly, then you're doing something wrong. So just a little hint for you guys. All right, guys, so it's three o'clock. I'm ready for the gym. I'm just watching some uh, shit on YouTube relating to back day, see if I can um, get some tips or put some, try something new. I've uh, got coffee as well over there. Gonna sip on that. Um, sometimes I have a coffee and it just goes straight through my just shit afterwards. I don't know if it's like caffeine kind of kickstarts your digestive system or something like that. But um, hopefully I don't shit. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll probably meet over the gym guys. Uh, I'll probably go through a few exercises while I do this over that. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you over the gym guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so hopefully you can hear me. Um, what I was doing there was I was using the single arm um, handles instead of the actual V handle purely because um, I feel it better like that way and uh, it's a unique way so you can actually move the handles yourself to what's comfortable so when you're at the bottom you can kind of squeeze out instead of just being that constant movement like this you can actually bring it in squeeze out so definitely recommend using those kind of handles if you want to do the uh, v-bar pull down it's great for the thickness in there if you want to do some front lat spread it's great for the thickness so definitely definitely Im implement that into your um, training Okay guys, so I um, had a really good workout, um, I love training back, I love going heavy on back and I think, I believe that's what you need to do if you want a big back, you need to, for your rows you need to do 6 to 8 reps, you need to go heavy and you need to do your 12 reps, and your lats you need to go heavy, you need to vary it, so what I do is I do normally do about 3 um, 
width movements and three thickness movements, maybe four, uh, depending on what I feel is my weakness. Like I say, my lats are more of my weakness, so I normally do four exercises for my lats, three for the thickness. So, um, yeah, that's how, that's how I train back, that's how I've trained it for a while, and my back is, my back is okay, it's not the best, strongest back you ever see out there, but it's, it's definitely okay. So, um, on to post-workout nutrition. So, post-workout, I think I told you I am going to have a pizza. Um, I think Chicago Town, the takeaway pizzas, they are the best uh, pizzas, I think, to get. Frozen pizzas, they cost me four, this cost me four pounds from Asda. Um, stuffed crust as well, which I, I love. And um, let's see what the macros are on this bad boy. Where's the, f there it is. So that's a quarter, uh, does it do the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Okay, so the whole thing is 1,748 calories, 68 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, 72 grams of fat. Lovely. So as I'm, um, as I'm waiting for the food to uh, cook, I just want to speak to you guys, just want to know um, what videos you'd like to see. Would you like to see like, more challenges, more vlogs, uh, nutrition advice, training advice, um, like I said, challenges, anything like that. Um, let me know in the comments below or message me on Snapchat or Instagram or whatever you can message me on the comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see because I'm not like running out of ideas, but I try and like mix up like should... Uh, guys train the booty and how to improve your bench press but I don't get as much people watching that kind of stuff if you know what I mean whereas when I do like a full day of eating uh, majority of my subscribers watch that kind of stuff so let me know what you guys want to see because I don't want to do stuff uh, and spend time editing and stuff like that if no one's going to really watch it if that makes sense so I want to kind of please everyone so let me know what you guys want to see comment below please I appreciate it so guys, pizza is here. Obviously, you've got to have ketchup with pizza. Who doesn't have ketchup with pizza? If you don't, I think you're a bit weird. Anyway, I'm going to smash smash this. I'm going to eat this. And I'll probably see you guys afterwards. So, I'm excited. <laughs> so guys, that pizza... Um, yeah, that pizza probably knocked me out a bit. Uh, I don't know how, but I got really tired afterwards and I had a little nap. So if you can see, I'm quite quite tired right now. And I'm kind of laying here, tired, thinking about life, reflecting on life, that kind of stuff. But um, probably fine in the of the day. Tuna pasta, uh, staple in my diet. If anyone uh, likes tuna and pasta, it's quite, it goes quite well with a bit of pesto sauce in it as well. Um, obviously carbs, good carbs, good protein. And um, yeah, that's it so far. That's meal number four, five, something like that for me at the moment. Um, and yeah, standard in. It's quite cheap as well. If you're, like I said, student budget, quite cheap. So it's perfect at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm really tired, as you can tell. But, um, but yeah, um, I'll probably see you next clip, guys. So a little bit. Okay, guys, so it is the, um, it's the next morning and I'm just editing this video. So um, I don't think I'm going to wrap this video up now. But we've just hit... Um, 1.6k subscribers. I just want to say um, thank you for all the support. I really appreciate everyone who's supporting me. It means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, I just want to keep bringing out content for you guys that you enjoy. And um, like I said, all this Instagram, all these big fitness models is all bullshit. Like, all it's all bollocks. And like I said, I want to keep it real with you guys and keep it 100. Like, it's keep down to earth as possible, keep it normal um, and stuff like that and I just want to bring out good content for everyone on a uh, as a student so um, yeah I'm just like everyone else really I'm not no fitness model nothing like that but um, thank you for watching the video guys um, if you can like the video if we get 80 likes I'll be really happy um, if you can comment below um, let me know everyone knows I'm spoken to many people lately and uh, subscribe if you're new around here I appreciate the support um, and yeah, I'll catch you next one, guys. So, 